In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the determinant of any nth order matrix. The question reads, evaluate the determinant of the following matrix. Notice that our matrix is four by four, and we're looking for the determinant. So far, we know how to find the determinant of a two by two, a three by three, but now we're looking at a four by four. To find the determinant of this, you can use the exact same method you used when you had a three by three matrix, using expansion by minors method. But if you use that method, it will take a very long time to complete. So we have to find another way to do this. And lucky for us, there is. What you have to do is make sure that your matrix has something that looks like this, where we have three zeros and the number five, or three zeros and any number. Notice that ours has this configuration, zero, five, zero, and zero. If your matrix, if your four by four matrix or five by five does not have this, then you have to use either column or row operations to get your matrix to look like this. That being said, once you have a row or a column looking like this, you can remove the column and the row where that number exists. So this number is in the second row and the third column. So I'll cross that out. And I represents two and J represents three. So I represents the row and J represents the column. The reason why these two numbers are important is because together those will give you the cofactor. And the cofactor is what will multiply the matrix once this row and this column have been removed. To find your cofactor, we'll take negative one and raise it to the power of two plus three. This gives us negative one raised to the power of five, and that's equal to negative one. What's more, we will now take this number five and multiply it by negative one. Whatever that number is, where the row and the column intersect, you'll multiply by negative one in our case. Now that we found our cofactor of negative five, I'll multiply this to zero, four, negative three, one, negative two, six, three, zero, and one. We now have a three by three matrix in which we already know how to find the determinant of. Using expansion by minors method, we can now take negative five and multiply it by, we'll start with this row. Since the element here is zero, we don't have to worry about that. So if I were to cross out this row and this column and multiply it by zero, you would get nothing anyway. So we don't have to worry about this part. What about one? We have one times, this is positive, this is negative, and this is positive. So one times negative one. And since we're in the second row, we'll multiply this by four, negative three, zero, and one. Now onto the last number, three. Three is positive, the row is positive. So I'll put down plus. And this is being multiplied to the square matrix that remains, and that's shown here. The next step is to find the determinant of this one and this one. Starting with this matrix, we have four times one minus zero times negative three, that's zero. So we have negative one times four, that's equal to negative four. Over here, we have four times six, that's 24 minus negative two times negative three, that's positive six. That gives us 18, we multiply that to three. We will sum these up and multiply to the factor of negative five. Negative four plus three times 18 times negative five gives us negative 250. And there you have it. That is how to find the determinant of any nth order matrix. Just keep in mind that you need at least one row or one column where you have all zeros except for one number. Then you can use the method that was shown here.